If you're working on an ebook and you're wondering about the design and packaging, whether you should do it yourself, you should hire a designer, this video is for you. My name is Sylvie McCracken and I, my website is sylviemccracken.com and I love teaching entrepreneurs how to create passive income with ebooks. And I've been asking my readers to ask me their questions about all about ebooks and the creation process and that kind of thing. If you want to submit your question, definitely go to my website, sylviemccracken.com and leave it there. I'd love to answer it in a future video. And today I want to answer the question from Leah and from Chantal, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So let me just read those couple questions, which are very similar, and get right into answering them. So Leah asks, when starting out with your first book and money is tight, is it advisable to outsource the final product to be tidied up, graphics, images, layout, etc.? Can you even finish a book without this help? And Chantal asks, how do you know when it's worth hiring a designer to help with the ebook? When I'm not very graphic savvy, it's overwhelming enough spending so many hours writing that it's hard to shell any extra cash. So a couple of different things. First of all, can you even do it without this help? Absolutely. You can do anything you want DIY, especially nowadays we've got um, canva.com, we've got PicMonkey. We have all these different ways that you can you know, design and package an ebook really easily. My friend uh, who has a best-selling ebook, and I won't mention her name in case she wants to sort of keep that private, she literally did it in a Word document and added images there and exported it into a PDF. The end. That was her ebook. And she had the the idea to eventually go back and upgrade it and make it better, but never ended up doing that. And it worked just fine and it sells like crazy. So that's definitely something that you can do. Spoiler alert, I always prefer to outsource everything. I'm sort of a huge fan of outsourcing. You'll notice on my blog I talk about that a lot. Um, and part of that is because I feel like, number one, money just buys speed. When I started creating my ebooks, I was working full time, so I didn't have a lot of time. So I wanted to outsource absolutely everything that I didn't have to do myself. So that's a big reason why I did it. And second of all, I just really love that polished sort of look of a pro designer doing my stuff. And that's a little bit of a preference thing. I do think at the end of the day, it does help a little bit with the pricing. You're able to sort of price it a certain way if that quality look matches the quality content, right? Because we already know you're writing a really great ebook, your content is solid, um, you've had it, you know, you're proofreading it, you're not going to put out something that's kind of crappy, right? So you're working on this product and it's something that you're really proud of, make that look kind of match it, right? So. You know, my preference would be to outsource that. Now, if you can't afford it, do not, please do not let that be the reason that you don't write that ebook. So just write it where you are now, bootstrap it if you have to, do everything yourself. And then if you want, and I would highly suggest that you do this, once you put it for sale and you're making those first few hundred dollars, go ahead and outsource it to a designer and send that same ebook to the people that have already purchased, they'll love you forever, and uh, put that newly designed pro version up for sale. Uh, and if you want, even increase, you know, increase the price at that point. I mean, that's another sort of marketing thing that you could do is you could have kind of a closeout sale where your book is, you know, $12, but you're about to have, you know, the, the sort of updated professionally designed version include maybe a bonus or something like that and change that price to match it, whether it's $20 or $25. And again, you can offer it to your readers to sort of buy for a certain amount of time at that, at that old price and get the new one for free, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so I think that Chantal, you know, if you're in the process of writing, kudos to you, because that's the hardest thing is starting. And I think that, you know, in your, in your question, I sort of heard that it's a little bit hard to shell out any extra cash. One thing I would caution you though, is if you can afford it and you can hire a pro designer and you're not good at it, which you mentioned, girl, you just have to believe in your product at a certain point and say, this product is definitely gonna make back these few hundred dollars that I'm gonna invest in a designer today. Um, that would be my thoughts on that. So all three of my eBooks have been professionally designed. I paid anywhere from 600 to all the way to a little over a thousand for each one of those, uh, depending on length and complexity and that kind of thing. Um, and I'm very, very happy that I did that. Uh, but again, you know, start where you are and upgrade when you can. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, please come to my website, sylviemccracken.com. I would love to answer them in a future video. Thanks.